Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to Redesign 16. So before we get started on this orange, um, teal, like blue eyeshadow look, um, please hit the subscribe button and please also don't forget to ring the bell so that you will be notified when I post new videos every single week. First come, first serve. Uh, let's get started. Hey guys, so... I am going to attempt to do a orange and navy eyeshadow look for you. I did all of my makeup already, all of my face makeup, and I'm going to be using some shadow tints, maybe some MAC eyeshadow, because there are blues in there, um, some Revolution eye, uh, makeup eyeshadow that I got at Marshalls and this is um color masters got it long time ago and I just got eyeshadow all over me but I got it a long time ago for a gift so I'm going to try so here it goes so I already started out with candlelight I did that with when I wanted to do my concealer to make it look like I'm more awake than I am. Um, the Candlelight Shadow Sense is a, a color correcting um, shadow that cancels out any discoloration. So this is perfect. Not only can you use Shadow Sense, I've said this in previous videos, for just eyeshadow but you can use it for multiple things on your face and maybe i'll do how many ways you can use shadow sense as a tutorial i don't know i thought about it so i am going to start off with um peaches shadow sense this is my favorite shadow sense it's an peachy color like orange so I'm just putting that all over my eyelid up into my crease you have, remember you have 60 to 90 seconds to apply this before it sets into place and dries it's a cream base um, that turns to powder after applying it after 60 to 90 seconds it's smudge proof waterproof anti-aging all the products have anti-aging bisonogens and now i am going to take a fluffy brush that i have um and just kind of swipe it but also pat it in Look at like how bright that is. I'm so excited. And that little spot, I didn't know that I got foundation before on my shirt before I started recording this. You can swipe it, but I highly advise that you don't and I also wait a few minutes or minutes seconds before I start setting it into place because you don't want to like smear all over it. It won't do that but I just wait a couple. Okay now I'm going to go in. I don't know why this color Okay, now I'm going to go in with my, um, my, uh, Revolution palette. There's some oranges in here, so I want to brighten it up. So I am going to go in, actually, I'm going to go in with this, the orange one first, and then the peachy color. Do that. 
so that and I'm just using the same brush that I used to apply the shadow scents and I'm just going to go in and make it brighter I might use a different brush because I'm kind of swiping it and you can do that but you want to actually pat it in okay look ah I love it I love this orange color and it's very trendy it's very you could do this orange look without the navy I've done that before I did a tutorial on it but not using all of this stuff I never used to like orange and now it's like my go-to so I am going to take this Sacconi Cash brush that I got in a package from Target before the quarantine around Christmas time. And I am going to go in now with this peach color right here. And I'm just going to lightly pat it down by my lash line. Look at it. Oh, I'm in love, guys. If I wasn't recording this today, like, I would just leave it. Not do blue, but I wanted to try it. So now I'm going to go hmm, in with this little brush that I got from a friend in a package a long time ago. And I am going to go in with this reddish orange. And I'm just going to pat it in almost to my crease. That kind of gives it a pinky look. Whoa. It looks so pretty. I am like this. I might wear it one day without recording. Hmm, that's an idea. So, I'm going to go in with my MAC palette. I don't know, like, the color of this one, but it's an orangey one. And I am just going to pat it. It almost makes it look red. Don't like that. I don't like it at all. <laughs> so, a good thing about shadow scents is that you can layer it. So I'm just gonna go right over what I did. And I'm just going to go in and pat it with this brush that I got. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with the brightest orange and just lightly Pat it on there.
I am in love. So I'm in love. So I'm gonna go in with a peachy color. And just oh my god in my eye, don't do that. Don't try that at home. Like amazing. On fire. Very pretty. So, um, okay. I'm going to try to put some more peaches up by my brow bone. first but then pat it in take it down by my lower lash line oh yeah that's what I forgot to do I'm in love I'm in love okay gonna take it down a little bit down my lash line and you can also Take a little brush instead of like going like that, you want to go like instead of this holding it up like this, you want to go down, okay? Down, so not like this, slanted in your hand, so your hands like kind of bent. around. Do you see that? So pretty. So pretty. So pretty. Mm. I'm kind of scared to put the navy on it. Because mm, it looks so pretty. Mm. Well, I'll try it. So, I'm going to take this like navy blue grayish tint and just taking my small Ciccone Cash brush has like a bluish tint to it. And instead of putting it in my crease, I'm going to put it on by my lashes. And I'm just patting it in. to add some more to it. Mm, I don't know if I like it or not. Very pretty though. But I don't know if I really like it. Okay, now I'm going to do the same Thing. Oh, and I just got it in my eye. Don't do that at home. I'm okay. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit more orange. Because I'm not, it's pretty, but I like it kind of more blue. Because it's summery. So, I'm going go in with candlelight, go over it, pat 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 it, okay, pat it, pat it, pat it, not swiping it, I am going back and forth, but I am patting it, so, Let's do this, people. So, back with the peaches. Hey, I'm learning just like you are. And if you have not seen my new powdered brush, 
go check it out. I released a tutorial on it. It's by Sakona Cash. It's the best brush that I have ever used in my life. No joke. Hands down, 10 out of 10. Okay, so I'm going back in with the bright orange to cover it up. Okay, just like that. The peach. Okay, and I'm gonna try a little bit of the reddish orange, okay? As you can see, I got some in my eyelash. <laughs> it's like sticking straight up, okay? Now I'm going to go in with peaches again. Trust me, if I did this, like more practice and off camera, it wouldn't take me this long. So, I'm going in with the same brush, swiping it a little bit, patting it. Okay. I'm going to put the bright orange and the red together in my crease and down. Okay. It gives it more, the reddish orange is like peachy. Like pinky peachy. That's what I meant. So, I'm gonna go in again. In my upper crease and I am going to use that brush, pat it <sighs> do you see like how orange that looks Maybe I should not put it so much down here, but hey, whatever. So, I got an itchy nose. You're not supposed to touch your nose. So, I'm using this turquoise one. Turquoise blue, or like it's a neon blue. So I'm gonna try it. Look how blue that is. Oh yeah, way better. Way better. Okay. Way, way better. So pretty. So pretty. So pretty. I'm loving it. Love, love, love it. Okay. Almost looks greenish, but green's my favorite color too. So I'm going to go in with a different brush, the Coney Cast eyeshadow brush, add a little bit more blue. On my lower lash line. Okay, that is so pretty. So I am going to put. A little bit more in my
crease to brighten it up. Okay, so I think I'm ready for down here sorry guys so i think i'm ready for the mascara i'm not sure let's try it i actually like it i don't but i do it's something new that i've never done so yeah <laughs> um okay I really like it. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. If you like it, what you think of it. If you've done it, please let me know. If you have any tricks, comments, all that. So, yes, I just pulled my mascara out of my shirt. There's a trick about it. So I'm just gently Going up, and I'm using the Cover Girl, um, the Cover Girl Expeditionist in the color very black. So I'm going to finish up and come back with the end result for you guys. Okay, so I'm back with the end result, and this is how it turned out. I am so happy how it turned out, and I'm so glad that I just did it differently so the navy blue it makes it more springy like I really like it I think I'm gonna do that orange just orange by itself off camera because I already did an orange look if you have not seen it um hop on over there after this video um I will try to link it down below but I like how it really turned out. I hope that you guys did too. Please give me a thumbs up and please also um, subscribe to my channel. But if um, a thumbs up or a like, whichever one, um, please also don't forget to ring the bell so that you will be notified when I post new videos every single week. First come, first serve. Thanks for watching and staying home with me.